What's good, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? We have got a big game going on right here. This is our, I think this is the second or third game after we signed our second 10 day contract. And you see, we got that and one against Joaquin Noble, and we are going up against the Chicago Bulls, as you can see right there. And this game is huge. I mean, we have a special guest in attendance tonight. We have got our old high school coach who is watching us play, so you know we got to bring our A game, especially against this team, and I feel it's fitting that uh, I bring you this gameplay in particular because uh, our current teammate situation we have Omira Seek, uh, Jimmer Fredette, John Salmons and of course myself who have all played formerly for the Chicago Bulls now you're probably wondering wait, when did you play for the Chicago Bulls AT well I played for the Chicago Bulls back in 2k14 this is my third or fourth season I only played for a couple of games then Derrick Rose got injured and I was like, damn. Then I asked to get traded because, you know, at that point, that team was literally just Derrick Rose. I think Jimmy Butler was still there. Kirk Heinrich and just a handful of players that are there currently. And the rest just disappeared. So I was like, damn, this team is, is going to go nowhere. So I asked to get traded and a whole other stuff happened. But anyway, that's an old story in the past. I should have brought you that video, but I never really recorded it because that was about three seasons in. And it just got way way too long to just get that series continuing going, especially where it was at the time. But anyway, let's get back into this gameplay. As you can see, we're going to get these free throws going. We have to try and keep our free throw rating high. Um, currently, it's pretty low. I mean, free throws are going to be hard to get in this game, but hey, we managed to sink both of them because we have a nice release, and I should have really kept this release. I'm still going to be experimenting around with different releases, different shots, all that type of stuff as the season progresses on. We're going to try and get that ball, but unfortunately gets picked off by the defense. John Simons with a great recovery right there. So we're going to go and try and go. We should have tried to reward him with the screen, but I decided to drop that entire thing. Just try and go with a play, which worked out pretty well. Because Jimmer Fredette managed to get the other two easy points. Well, I think that was Jimmer Fredette. And speaking of Jimmer Fredette, this dude gets his shot going. Not in this game, but a couple of games down the line. I hope I had recorded that game. I can't remember because I record so many different games. It just keeps going. And Ryan Addison contributing two points right there. It's great to see. As you can see, we're trying to chip away at this lead slowly. And we're going to try to play some defense. Get him out of here. No, no, no. Not today. Mike Dunleavy. 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 I don't know. Dunleavy. Mike. Mike Jr. I call him Mike Jr. <laughs> Gotta get him out of here. Play that defense. Tyreek the Freak Evans. He's gonna give us the ball. He ain't gonna give us the ball. We're gonna get the ball off his miss. Going up once. Getting it to go down. Hustle points, man. Hustle points. They amount up to something. Now, Pau Gasol is gonna teach us a little something about, about that post fade right there. I mean, damn. I tried to play as much defense as I could in Pau Gasol. But this year, if you try and reach in or mistime your block, they make you pay for it big time they either score the basket or they blow past you in extremely fast fashion before you can recover as you can see we're back down the post right here we're gonna go up and under Pau Gasol trying to draw that and one play unfortunately the basket did not fall as you can see here we're back to the free throw line doing what we do again getting the first free throw to fall however I think we missed the second free throw. I'm just trying to go off memory sake. And yes, we do miss the second free throw. It's a damn shame. But oh well, it is what it is. Gonna go set that pick for Ryan Anderson, who doesn't really, uh... I'd say that wasn't a really effective pick, but we found John Samuels is going up. And he's missing that shot. First rebound, going back up. Hustle points, man. Going straight into the third quarter, I'm pretty sure this is. Because, uh... After the second half, well, after the first half, I should say. I don't know why I said second half. After the first half, we were having a bit of a, you know, decent game. Let's see if we can continue that momentum into the second half. And this is going to be interesting to see how well they play. Uh, I'm pretty sure Jimmy Buckets, a.k.a. Jimmy Butler, just decides to do a quick crossover and goes to the mid-range, the top left-hand side of the key, shooting over Anthony Davis and Tyreek the Freak Evans. Getting, oh, that was Drew Holiday. That's my bad, my bad, my bad. Got it wrong. Mm -mm -mm, got it wrong. Anyway, I was going to ask you guys something. This year, they've made a whole lot of changes to my team. I think I just activated. Siri, shut up! Damn, I'm trying to do a damn commentary. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. Oh man, that was weird. I'm charging my phone, and I said this year, and somehow Siri managed to get picked up. We see we're playing, trying to play. You see, we're trying to play good defense right there on Aaron Brooks, but he just has some acrobatics, and the three sirens are going off in the background. Damn it! Come on now. Anyway, what was I gonna say? My team. Yeah, this year my team has been changed quite a lot. 
And I was going through it just yesterday. I, of course, I recorded the pack opening. Shit is going on outside. Uh, so yeah, I recorded the pack openings and stuff like that. So I've got that video set up and ready in case I want to start a my team uh, series. However, if I do start a my team series, I'm not going to be playing. I think it's called Road to the Playoffs, where you play online against other players. Now I'm not. I don't like doing that. I hate playing online because I suck online as a team. I can lock down one position and give you the best from that certain position, whether it's a shooting guard, small forward, center, yada yada yada, so on and so forth. As playing for a team, I suck. I ain't gonna lie, I suck at that team uh, environment gameplay. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna mainly do the challenges because there's quite a lot of challenges, and there is a certain player I'm gonna try and unlock from these challenges. I'm gonna let you guess who that player is. But anyway, that is it for this video, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The Bulls come out and they whoop. Ah, hey, yes. Mm -mm -mm, it's no good. It's no good. But what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? That is basically. It. And you see, Joe Kim over here having his interview with a uh, Doris Burke. That's cool and everything. He's gonna give his interview. I'm gonna let him speak his mind right now. Good luck sustaining it. Yo, Joe, where you going, man? I got a little beef with you, man. Why you following me so hard? Joe, come back in. Joe! <laughs> As you can see, I had a little bit of beef there with Joe Kim. No, he was following me hard this game. Yet again, he does like to play physical type of defense, which I love to see from the Chicago Bulls. And I hope they have a healthy season this season because it's going to be great to see. Anyway, there's our stats for the game. Be sure to like this video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And be sure to share this video with your friends who enjoy NBA 2K and are looking for a center in my career. Because I'm going to bring a lot of those. Anyway, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Vine. Yeah, be sure to follow me on Vine AT29 TV. It's my second channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. It's the man, the myth, the high school coaching legend. No, not as good as a coach since I lost you a few years back. It's funny how coaches get better when they actually have good players on their team. Man, forget that noise. You taught me everything I know. You, you, you're like a sponge. And it gets, it's paid off for you. I am so happy for you. Thanks, coach. Now hit the showers. I can smell you from here. All right, <laughs> man. I gotta get fresh. <laughs> All right, sounds good. <laughs>